to India now, which seems to be past the peak of its second coronavirus wave. But the country is now fighting another crisis. Those recovering from COVID-19 seem to be more vulnerable to a dangerous fungal infection. The black fungus, as it's called, it's a deadly but once rare disease, has now been declared an epidemic in several Indian states. DW correspondent Amisha Jaiswal sent us this report from the capital, Delhi. Sanchita Ayan has spent the last two months in and out of hospitals. When her parents caught the coronavirus during the worst of India's second wave, she stayed up nights desperately looking for oxygen cylinders and hospital beds. She had to travel some 300 kilometers to Jaipur just to find her mother an ICU bed, where she spent three weeks. A few days after returning home, her mother was hospitalized again, this time because of mucormycosis, commonly known as the black fungus. Ayn describes wards overrun with patients with eyes swollen shut, faces disfigured by life-saving surgeries made necessary to stop the spread of the fungus. A black fungus patient in the same room as her mother bled to death before her eyes. Ayn says she cannot allow herself the time to stop and process this trauma. I can't afford to even have the luxury to lament. Because I have to keep going, so I have to do whatever it takes to keep going. I can't afford to think, I can't afford to sympathize, I can't afford to behave like a victim right now because I have to constantly act. The black fungus has been declared an epidemic in Delhi and several other states in India. It is not a new disease, but it occurred so rarely that pharmacies did not stock much of the drug used to treat it. We used to receive around two, three requests for the injections for this amphotericin B a week. But right now, the demand went so high that it crossed more than 30 patients a day. And there were many looking for it. Unless patients receive an injection regularly for several weeks, the fungus can spread rapidly. Each vial costs 80 euros. As the demand has surged, the black market price has quadrupled. As prices for the antifungal drugs skyrocketed, the government cut off sales at pharmacies like these. Now, manufacturers and imports are supposed to be supplied directly to hospitals, but these supplies will be crucial as even a single missed dose can be devastating. The mold that causes the black fungus is common in the environment, but can also be found in unclean ventilators or oxygen cylinders. These were used heavily during India's second wave. Dr. Rommel Tikku calls these opportunistic infections. They swoop in when your immunity is compromised, in this case by the coronavirus and the overuse of steroids used in its treatment. Any missteps in treating the black fungus can be fatal. Mucormycosis has a high mortality rate, especially uh, with patients who don't get diagnosed early enough. So it has more than 50% mortality. Most of the time involves surgery, which can be disfiguring, especially with the common variety that we see, rhinocerebral mucor, where you have to remove the dead tissue from the face. Now, a rise in other fungal infections that prey on weakened immune systems is also being reported. India's coronavirus cases may be falling, but the deadly second wave has left thousands vulnerable to many more infections. And let's get more now. We are joined by Professor, Ver, Professor Oliver Cornley. He is a, an infectious disease specialist from the University of Cologne. Thank you so much for joining us to share your expertise. And I, I'd like to begin by asking you, because we, we've heard that India has a shortage of supplies of medicine to treat these fungal infections. What is the prospect of treatment without the drugs? Without the drugs, you would be left just with surgery, which is, of course, not a good option you need usually to combine both. Okay, um, so I mean that, that that's a pretty dire scenario that, that you're outlying there. Um, just walk us through because we've, we've heard about the rise in cases in India. How about elsewhere in the world? Are you also seeing other cases? Well, everywhere in the world we do see cases uh, connected to COVID-19, however, it is very small numbers. So I'm aware, for example, at the moment in Germany of less than five cases. How high is the risk that these types of infections spread? 
uh, they usually do, or they do not spread from patient to patient. So the mechanism is that you inhale the fungus and the fungus usually lives, lives in soil or in decaying matter and you inhale it and then it seeds the um, mucous membranes where it starts growing and invading and causing disease. But you don't pass that on to somebody else. So, you know, if you're somebody, you're sitting in, you know, another country in the world, should we be concerned about this? Well, we need to keep, of course, alert and we uh, should do the proper diagnostics. If you diagnose it early, that's key to treatment. And I guess that is what's being done in uh, most parts of the world. Okay. Oliver Cornery, infectious disease specialist from the University of Cologne. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.